Welcome back, everyone, to uh, Meta HSC, the Rocket League Nationals group stage. I'm Chris, that's Gex, and we are here. Thanks to our sponsors at Optus, Torrance University, Billy Blue, College of Design, and MSI. Now, for what's going to be very, very uh, thrilling game today, uh, it's going to be McLean's taking on at Caring Bar. Both teams currently undefeated at the moment. 3-0 for Caring Bar, 2-0 for McLean's, if we are discounting the FFs. So uh, both teams have all but secured their spot in the finals next week. But the question is, in what sort of seeding they will end up in? Because if Karen Bar wins this, they win all four of their games, they're locked in top one. But if they lose mm. this game, they're up for McLean to possibly sweep in and get the 4 as well because they've got one more game to play. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, both teams have probably already locked in really their uh, top seed positions here uh, in into that top upper bracket. Um, I believe we are going to have double eliminations, but uh, we will have to see on the day. Uh, so yeah, both these teams already positioned very well here, but we discussed this earlier and it is totally possible that McLean's versus Caring Bar could be our grand final match. So this mm. may be just a preview of what you're going to see there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see though. Uh, we're kicking off right now. Yes, we are as McLean's on the blue and Caring Bar's on the orange oh. and left straight off the kickoff. He gets the lead for the Kiwis. Yeah, this is an unfair Fortunate attempt by Thinker here. Gets under it, but not with the confidence he needs. Can't get back up to that ball as it bounces high over him and makes its way just under the crossbar. A very strong start for McLean's, who we already kind of expect here to be the uh, uh, have the upper hand moving into this match. Yes, indeed. As Pistachio now looking to just try and bring the ball forward, Lev now trying to bring it forward as well but Hipsoel he's able to just take the ball from on high there's no one home to save that and uh nice play there from Hipsoel just to steal the ball and get the equalizer yeah hipster proving exactly why we uh named him MVP uh in the last match he had and uh stepping up again with the first goal evening very very quickly and not even 30 seconds into this match and there's a goal apiece now Oshan gonna chase this down but Hips to Whale. Passing out, nobody gonna get on it super quickly, just taking their time pacing us out, trying to get as much space as they can. Not really able to bait anybody out too well, but Hips to Whale, another shot on target. Had to be blocked away by Pistachio. Yeah, that was a nice little save as well from him. And the Sharp will now take the ball up here, but look at that, Tabgarni immediately sends it back into the attack with Pistachio. Just able to take the ball again here, and he actually brings it onto the attacking wall. Opens it up for Lev for a crossbar player. Sharp second man through. Double commit works out there for Tadagane, and he's going to follow it through as well. Gets it onto the opposite corner. Sasha has to be the player to try and pick it up. Won't be able to fully take control. Ipsel gets the pinch back to the thing. Guys, that oh. in? Yes, it is. And carrying bars in the lead. Yeah, getting up nice and early in this series. Barely a minute past, and they're already going up by one now off of a good strike there from the uh, sub coming in there the thinker um, wasn't in the earlier matches today so good to see that he's performing well as well yeah Cheremai out for the thinker so yeah this is going to be interesting to see how he goes obviously did have a little mishap off the kickoff but he's probably made a fair few amends with that uh, goal there the thinker so could see him immediately Come through and just plug straight into the place of his teammates. As McLean's now looking to try and find an equalizer. The ball will be shuffled wide there. Pisachio will lock it in, however. Can he get a tap on? No, he won't. The thinker clears it away, but Lex follows through. One, where's the second? Won't find it. Ipswell steals the ball away. Pisachio just has to try and lock it into the corner for now. Yeah, I'm going to come left of that goal as Pistachio tried to find the setup, but Thinker's got it now looking maybe for Hips to Whale, who will go up behind him. A little bit of a double commit there, actually, on Karingba's side. They are nervous to try and get touches to this ball and maintain control, but they have to make sure that their communication is up to par here. Redwell by Tadagane on wall. Picks it up extremely well. A big flick almost over Lev. Lev touches that up well high. Oshemp 
first to get back to it as Hipster Whale takes control. A good flick past Lev now. Pistachio, the man, to put it to the back foot. Looking for a touch. Lev nearly recentering as Oshan gets it in front of goal one more time. But Hipster Whale carries it out. They should be able to clear this out here. Lev is going to let it go back to his backboard and take control. Now Lev to the ground. Pops it up well, but going to... Probably, you would have expected at the very least for it to change hands here, does eventually, Tadagane, a very awkward little flip there, puts this back to Pistachio, there is a chance, but just a little too slow on the opportunity to make anything of it. He has a nice rotation back from Hipswell just to lock down that attempt from his opponents. Levin's being really Ooh. made quiet here as, just as soon as I say that, he gets a beautiful assist over to a sharp and as you go to the replay here, Lev just controlling the wall, flicks it up, Pass the thing, Karen Hipster Whale just slightly going back to where the ball wasn't going. So mm. opens up the net for him, and that's going to be the equalizer for McLean. But as I was saying, Lev has been quieted down a fair bit from what we saw last series. So Karen by able to just mitigate his threat a little bit more than Yarra Valley were. And uh, while we were playing our last series of YVG, I couldn't help but, uh, because of our earlier series, um, compare YVG's performance to what Karingba is doing now as well. And it's interesting to see that there is some difference. Pistachio going to put another one away from McLean's. They are stepping up in a similar fashion to what they did on uh, the Spuds there as well. Yeah, they were able to drag out both of the defenders in the net there. So a bit of a double commit really coming out from Karingba. Really, Taragani should have probably just stayed inside the net, but he went out, couldn't get a touch, he got demoed, and that just opened it up for Pistachio to get the ball. And now Taragani needs to try and find a, some sort of retribution here. Won't be able to at the moment, Lev clears the ball out of danger for now. The Finker is not able to get that touch, but he does leave it towards Hipster Whale. He does get bumped off the play, but the ball now rolls forward into the corner. Taragani forces the issue here, and means that Lev has to push out now. Hipster Whale getting the last few touches, just locking it in to the half. The Finker really just trying to open something up as well for a few demo plays as here oh. we go. Hipster Whale comes in from on high and we've got a tied game at 3 all. Absolutely beautiful spike down by Hipster Whale. Was set up very well for him, but that strike is so well positioned that even Lev couldn't do much about it. Carrying bar striking back, uh, probably with more consistency than we saw from the Spuds, but what I was going to talk about earlier is actually their defense. YVG Spuds handled McLean's well in the midfield and actually didn't let them put all that many shots on target, whereas Carrying bar is having a step up in defense right on that goal line, and they have been able to do so as they do again now as well, but it might be a bit more of a dangerous game to play against a team as good as McLean's uh, when they keep putting shots on like this something has to go in eventually but Lev puts it wide again there and then that also comes the rest of being boost starved here they're able to just break out in time but two mm. of those hundred boosts across the uh, left hand side of the field for it were taken away by their opponents anyways eight seconds now remaining here in regulation overtime might be required here in this opening game of what's going to be a thrilling series here. Hipster Whale looking oh. to try and beat the buzzer. Lev, what a save. Tadagane, what can he do? The finger bumps off his teammate. And that will mean overtime will come back into play here. First game of our fourth series. First time we've seen this since the first game of our first series, Gex. Mm. So aggressive out of carrying, but it's good to see that they are not worried about their opponents. They are just charging through. And, uh, man, almost works out for the on zero seconds. Would have been a fantastic way to take that first game away from uh, McLean's. Would have been huge. As I think now looks for a slow play. Here goes off the wall. Can Tadagana get it oh, through? Yes, he can! Yeah. Taps it in to the bottom left. And Carrying Bar picks up yet another overtime victory. A great touch from Thinker to intentionally going well. Doesn't, didn't get... Uh, defend away immediately lets that time be available for that second man to get up get in front of that net and the spike was just perfect to bring that home yes it was that was a very well placed spike to bring it in and yeah that will mean that carrying bar will win that mm. game for the free another time as uh we do have a lobby reset now due to servers just not playing well with our players, so yeah, we will just have that sorted out very, very 
quickly and uh, hopefully we'll be back into the game shortly. But still, that is a very impressive start there from Carring Bar. Able to hold off that sustained McLaren defense and, uh, or McLaren defense, sorry. And yeah, they were able to just weather the storm and get the dub from it. And as we set up this next lobby, we might just give you a little bit of an ad break for a moment and we will be right back with you. And welcome back, everyone. That is reset, and we're almost ready to get back on the way here for the series between Caring Bar and McLean's. It's going to be Caring Bar in the lead, one to nothing. And I'll be looking to try and push onto a two to nothing lead heading into game three, but McLean's, they are playing quite well. Mm. Yeah, I actually had the goal advantage there, nine eight. It was only just, but uh, the shots didn't convert into goals, Caring Bar carrying out that task just a little bit better and uh, bringing through that goal in overtime. I gotta say, uh, thank you to Optus for featuring these little guys. I wish they did have some little octanes there, but uh, a <laughs> great little <laughs> ad there from that would be That would be a very high IQ, but alas. <laughs> Any, game two now underway here. Tadagane looking to get an opening play going here. As, oh, that actually got very, very close. I'm not sure who got the save, but it was a very important one at that. As Sharpen now just looking to try and bring the ball forward. Pistachio gets it to the midfield, but Tadagani just locks it in for now. Tries to lock it in, but now has run out of boost. So I think we'll have to go back to get the play going. Actually gets a pass one, but can't get a pass a second. Pistachio picks up 100 boost in the midfield. But Tadagane is able to go back onto the attack here. He runs out of boost, but he sets it up in front of the net, but nearly finds the lev, and we know he can be very dangerous in this spot, but Hipswell, nice control of his car, just to block off the attempt, but a sharp, and he has a chance, Tadagane though, well placed in the corner, just clears it out of danger, Lev now, looks at Pistachio, but that is huge from Hipswell, clears it out, and might even have a half chance of a counter, but a sharpie takes the ball away. I do think that maybe we saw a little bit of uh, underestimation from McLean's uh, in that last match they might step up a little bit here to the challenge more from Karimba but a huge first start to this match by Karimba I think for sure we find our first series of the day that isn't a sweep here uh, no matter which way this goes as uh, I do expect McLean to take one back if not in this game then definitely at some point in this series Tadagane following that one through well. He really has been strong on that ball. Oshan gets it down the field. Thinker under the ball now. Does go to ground a little awkwardly and can't chase as Tadagane has to try and take control back. 
right on their goal line again. Does get it out off of an awkward touch from Lev, actually. A good center in, almost gets the bump on Pistachio as well. Would have been a goal had he, but the miss comes through just at the last moment to save McLean's from a little bit of embarrassment there. What a touch from Tadagane. Not quite a shot, but just almost close enough. Nobody there for a second uh, back up on that shot, though. We are getting very cool lows here, carrying about to getting the opening goal yet again in the game. But they've just been able to hold off here for now, McLean. Lex, he was effectively put into double coverage there and just going to break through that wall. Hipswell, easy save for him there. Just pops it high into the sky. Lev now waits in the corner, but kind of too much of that. Tadiani just taps it back down to Terraforma and Hipswell eventually gets the ball cleared out here. The Stars are doing a lot of work in defense here, either getting a fair few good saves or just clearing it out of the fence cleanly enough to get these attacks going here for him. So, yeah, it's been nice play so far as Lev has to get a demo here and that might just open up for Tadagane. He's a little bit wide. Can he get the oh. line through? Hipswell follows up. No, he can't get it through. Lex, just well positioned to be an effective brick in front of Hipswell. But Tadagane now, one, two. No, how do you do this time around? It's sharp and just able to take the ball out here. And the thinker now, just lifts it into the sky. Lev unable to get the touch for Sasjo. Unable to redirect it off the uh, rear of his car. Tadagane now carries the ball forward. Only in a 50. Lev though. Nice play. But Hipswell follows through. Soft touch. Backboard. And Pistachio clears it away. And uh, that defensive touch there from the thinker was actually only his touch this entire game for a minute 30 left on board he's been unused this game and I think that's a bit of a mistake from Tadagane and Hipster Whale because Thinker was able to step up last game he's definitely no slouch here and uh, he was fitting into the uh, roles very very well don't get me wrong this is still an incredibly even game but use your rotations use that third man and uh, make sure that he can have an effect on this game because every time you don't is that little bit of an opportunity for the third man on McLean's to step up instead. Indeed. I think it's just really taking a back seat here in this game and yeah, he has been a little bit of a missed presence though. But saying that though, Tadagane and Hipswell are still getting a lot of attacks going here. I think of another touch there on target as well, so he will be credited with a shot, but Pistachio easily clears that one away. Now Tadagane looking for something off the corner here. Lex and Sharpen should easily clear this out, but Hipswell is there. Picks up the 100 boost and is now going to set something up as Sharpen and Lex. I'm going to try and pull off something here, but Hipswell just taps it into open space. No one there to follow through. Tadagane, nice booming clear here. This could work out oh. by Lex! That is a huge save from Lamb just to deny him that crucial one goal lead. Hisashka oh. nearly brute forces it in, but it's just going to be blocked off by Tadagane. Hips to well. Three yes, seconds. Nothing but clear air. One second remaining, and Karingbar steals the lead. An incredible, important goal there, Ashen. Just baited out by that opportunity to score him uh, on Karingbar. Goes over the ball with that dribble there, going straight into net. Hipster Whale steps up yet again for Karingba, really earning his MVP from the last match. Indeed, that was huge there to get that goal. And, well, that was just impressive there from Hipster Whale just to somehow make it through all of the defenders and... Yeah, that was well done for him to bring Karimbar to a 2-0 lead. So, mm. yeah. Evening the series up at 16 shots for each team across the entire series now. Um, only one for Karimbar that time, but they limited McLean's to only six shots, and they are such an aggressive team. That's an accomplishment on its own and that's where i was talking about in the first game that uh midfield defense really making sure you shut down the shots before they're even a risk uh finally coming through for carrying bar now and uh made it such an even game it was in the end it came down to one goal in it and that is as close as you get in a match it is indeed as we get ready for our next game now and well we're hoping that this isn't a sweep but mm. It definitely could be. Karimbar has really lifted in that second game. Able to keep McLean to a clean sheet. Mm. I think that's actually one of the few clean sheets we've had all day today. And yeah, just really uh, 
put the uh, sword to him, and well, they forced that pretty critical lair out in the dying seconds of second game. So, yeah, this could eat, this could be another sweep. Hate to say yeah. it, but it could. And I mean, that last game, it didn't even take like an incredible play to make the uh, end result. It was it was a runaway, but it, something had to break, and it's broken again. Karen Bar, not only. Uh, the first in the last game, uh, they're the last in last game and first in this one as well. So if the pattern continues, they sh this could either be the final goal or he might be in for a bit of a goal fest. We'll find out soon enough as 15 seconds gone, a early, early lead here to carrying the, the team from the Summer of the Shire, looking to try and really put their foot down on this national stage. Hipster Whale, he has a bit of a break here oh. left. Can he get the save? Yes, oh. he does. That is a very good save. Somehow forces it into the crossbar and forces the ball to get bad out there mm. as Lev now but to try and follow it through here. The Thinker just taps it to Hipster Whale, looking for yet another opportunity here, but he leaves it be and Pistachio gets into the corner. Tatagane, an opportunity, but Hipster Whale just a little bit too far away for that play. It's coming across now onto Carrying Bar's side of the field though, and uh, the setups are available, especially if Tadagane misses like that. Hipster Whale steps up again, sending it back to that blue side, but no control for them here as Lev takes it. Now Pistachio going to be challenging Tadagane. Tadagane gets it through. Hipster Whale takes the pass. Oh, it's going to go high though, and the demo means that Tadagane is not there to pick that up. Thinker has to make a touch. The backflip's no good though. As Pistachio takes it off the backboard, Hipstowell gets it downfield once more, and Carrying Bar is just holding their lead right now. Really working with that same strategy of just keeping Thinker in reserve, uh, making sure that they've got him there as an emergency, uh, but not really using him in any other aspect, maybe just trying to keep him calm for that. Yeah, well, it is working for a moat. They do have a one-goal lead, and Tadagane gets yet another save. Don't think we'll get a breakaway goal this time around, however, as Hipswell does actually get a demo here. This could open it up, but he sends it a touch too high. The Thinker just can't get the play going in time, and now the rotations have to come through. The ball does head into the corner, so Thinker is averted for the briefest of moments here for carrying bars. The Thinker just taps it into the midfield here, looks to try and follow through. Lev forced to back pass it to Pistachio, who sends in a booming attempt with the back ball, but Hipster clears it wide. Nearly at the halfway point here, it's still the Carrying Bar boys with the lead as we are now at halfway. Tadagane just caught a little bit of strife there, but so able to just get around his teammate and clear out the ball. Pistachio, only man on defense at the moment for the Kiwis, and they'll be looking to just try and Bring the ball forward yet again. The Thinker, that's a whiff, but hits the way out with the backup and gets the save. Yeah, just a little bit of unexpected power there coming out of a bit of a pinch across there. Now a shot on target. Everybody available there, though. Thinker will collect his second save of the match now already in triple digits where he barely passed. If he did, actually, I can't remember now. Double digits in the last game. It was definitely a pretty good last game, but anyhow, uh, in this game, there's only 100 seconds remaining, Gex, and guess what? The Kiwis in the Plains are still not without a goal here, so... Yeah, this is uh, a little bit surprising to see, especially with a player like Lev on their team. I mean, Lev has been playing well, but he's just been featured more in defense than offense in this series, and that has really proven to be a crucial difference here. I said this in game one, I'll say it again. Carrying Bar have been able to successfully stifle him in attack and just force him to become a player, not the player for mm. the McLaren, McLean side. And it is really showing at the moment as they've sort of lost some of their really dangerous lethal attack as he to the final minute. Tanagane picks up the ball, just taps the pass to the defender, hits well, they have to follow through. That's actually not a bad pinch, but the ball will eventually get clear by. The Finker will lock it in. Bit of a bump there, Will. Uh, actually keep Hipster Whale in position. He might have gone back had it not been for that. Lev's going to be on that backboard there, just trying to keep the play low so that it can't escape them. That's a good Ooh. shot away, though. Hipster oh. can finish it again. And, man, Hipster has been really, really stepping up for the entire team uh, for Carrying Bar this series. They're putting it to a 2-0 lead with only 40 seconds left. 
They're in a, with a really, really good chance right now to clean sweep McLean's. Yeah, McLean's is do or die for him now. Can they do it? Can they force? Well, it seemed like a pretty near impossible comeback. We'll find out in the next 30 seconds as the warning is now being here. Tadagane pulling out the mechanics yet again. Just look at him. It's spiral mid-fly. Can he get it in? No, he can't. Lev will be able to stop him there in front of the net. Pistachio trying to hunt it out, but won't be able to uh, sharpen. Just passing it to Lev, and while time continues to tick down here, they need to go every six seconds, McLean's every five seconds now. Lev, a huge chance here to get at least one. He gets it on the near side, but still, they need to get a goal off the kickoff here, Gex. Can they do it? Mm, six seconds is doable, but man, it's a tough ask, and... Uh... You know, Lev did come away with the goal there. If it was going to be anybody on the team to pick one up in these last two matches, it was him, I guess. But we expected a little more. Oshan might be able to do oh. it with zero seconds. Lev's going to take his time and right on zero pick it up. Got his mechanics to work with, but will it go to ground? Yes, it will. Karingbar have done what seemed impossible. They have clean swept McLean's. What an incredible series out of Carrying Bar, and mm. man, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Yeah, that was absolutely huge from Carrying Bar. Tadagane and Ipsaro have absolutely played out of their minds. So, Finger as well, playing a lot more passively than someone like uh, Cheremai might have, but he still made, played his part well. And yeah, McLean, I mean, they, they played well, but. They really struggled when Lev was shut down. He got the only goal in that game. I actually think he's only he's gotten all of McLean's goal in the series, actually. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been huge stuff from Karimbal to shut him down and effectively near the attack from the Kiwi side. Yeah, and uh, man, they needed it. it they needed that uh, stopping block there at the end. And um, it was interesting how that sub for uh, Karingbar stepped up in that first game, really became a player across the field and did a very, very good job. It's not that he didn't do that later, but he almost wasn't needed. I mean, the, the other two players of the team stepped up so well in that kind of twos capacity, just making sure they reach each other over and over again. Their communication and passing was so on point that it barely got past that midway to the defender and the ability to rotate in just wasn't there a lot of the time. Indeed. And well, now I need to call out an MVP here and well, I think it has to be Hipstyle, doesn't it? I mean, mm. he is playing pretty darn well today. And yeah, I mean, he has really lifted. I mean, especially the state finals, or mostly the Tadagade show. Now it's the Hipstyle show mm. to the most part. I know that he wasn't uh, particularly happy with how he got the MVP of the last but absolutely deserved without a doubt on this one. I mean, he stepped up so much and became the key player for the team. I don't know if that had anything to do with a sub coming in, but he was needed and he stepped up every single time he was needed. And that mm -hmm. really makes him an incredible player uh, on field, regardless of who's there. So I hope he's got the uh, confidence built up off of this very well-deserved MVP to do it more in the future. Indeed. Won't be needing to do it for the rest of the day, though. That's all four games we're carrying, but done and dusted, mm. and they come out with an unblemished record, really. So I think they actually won all that game's 3-0, so a literal perfect record for them there. That is absolutely huge. And Hipsaw as well, just saying they have to change play style in chat as well. And, well, yeah, definitely uh, played very well there. Congratulations to you for what has been a pretty darn good day for carrying bar, and we'll see you in the finals. But for now, for us here on the stream we're heading to our final break of the afternoon we'll be back in a half hour's time to bring you red barons take on mclean but until then enjoy the coffee break and we'll see you in half an hour <laughs> 